Hey guys, Tom by 601 and today we have the mighty buff, I mean Vanguard here with us. Uh, decided to take her out given her most recent buff. If you're not aware, the history, this, the tier 7 tech tree battleship of the Royal Navy is probably one of the most buffed ships in the, in the history of the game. And keeping with tradition, she received another buff at the beginning of this update. Nothing too huge, nothing too major, but I figured we'd take her out, see what it's like. Uh, what is this change? Well, uh, her HE main battery shell penetration is being buffed. It's going from 64, meter, uh, 64 millimeters of pen up to 95. So a nice big chonky. To be fair, that's kind of bringing it in line with the rest of the uh, the Royal Navy battleship. So kind of makes sense that they're giving it the same, but still nice to see another big old buff. Now, as far as what, uh, what we are rocking, what our commander and setup is, doing something a little bit differently, wanted to try a bit of a different build out. You could always run Madden or you could always run uh, Zerlane Nelson, but today I'm trying out good old John Jellico. Uh, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to get fully packed in there. I wanted to get a couple of things because I wanted two reload boosters, you get the heels up to what you would normally do. Uh, with John Jellico, you get the, uh, increase in the repair party duration. So that means you're going to recover a bit more health on that, on that, on that repair party. And you get a couple of skills you don't usually see on the battleships figured. Let's give it a go. Maybe, maybe this could be fun and, I, and I'll report, you know, this is a fun way to run Vanguard. Our two inspirations we are running are Kondo and Megatron. The reason we are running Kondo is because in uh, Jellico's second slot, we have, um, look at me now, so we can get with the concealment mod, like minus 20% concealment on uh, on the Vanguard, which means you can you get like nearly cruiser level concealment and you have a reload that's just slightly over 20 seconds. So what that means, you can fire and decide if you really want to fire that shell at that moment, or if you're playing at appropriate distance away from the enemies, you can just choose fall off the mini map, have a little bit of fun, right? So uh, that's the idea behind this build. As you can see, we spawned on the right-hand side. We went ahead and pushed right. Uh, we've been trying out the HE, but at this point I'm like, okay, we're this Helena, he needs to be gone. I know there's a black right there. We should keep an eye for his torps, but they're going to be nice and slow, so we just need to maneuver. Let's go ahead and burn the first of our reload, of our fast reloads, because we know we have those. We get a beautiful slap on him, which is exactly what we wanted to do. He's going to fall off the map there, but not to worry. We still, because we're out at this weird position, have the ability to come and engage this North Carolina. So that's exactly what we're going to do. North Carolina sitting nice and broadside, uh, kind of slowing down here just in case those torps are on its way we get a beautiful hit on that north carolina taking a nice big chunk out of his health pole we can see the enemy has kind of started to consolidate other than the two guys who are out on our flank that we still need to deal with um enemy team has kind of consolidated down up to the b but they haven't really pushed into b so for us that's a good thing because we're going to be able to get some pretty good angles if we can manage to survive out on this flank but first, we need to worry about the torpedoes that we knew would eventually come. We go ahead, eat one right on the nose. Go ahead, burn that damage control party. We know he has a bit of time. That smoke screen starting to get a little long in the tooth, if you know what I mean. We we know that he, sh uh, in theory, uh, that smoke screen is about to run out. So what we're going to do, uh, keep the AP loaded. Wait for the AP to get to get back in back in the tube. We should be able to finish off this Helena with our front guns. And then we'll go ahead and continue with the North Carolina with our rear guns. And then flip over to HE after the salvo because he looks like he's turning in. But also, we need to get ready to deal with the Black. Black shouldn't have his torpedoes quite yet. Um, and like I said, that smoke screen, it's been here. It should start to decrease. And we know the Black is here because he's still firing in the smoke. He hasn't retreated. He's going to pop out right there. We got 30 seconds until our reload is done. He's going to start running away, and we're going to start engaging him. Uh, once we start hearing the secondaries pop off, because he is just within our secondary range, uh, Vanguard, not exactly the best secondary built uh, battleship, but enough. Here comes the torpedoes. We'll go ahead and turn. We're going to eat two of them, I think, or just one. We just end up eating one. 
Um, thankfully, no flood or else we would be taking some pretty good flooding damage. And we will uh, kind of swing the rear guns around using the HE. Not, not that before this would not have been possible without the buff. Um, you know, it, it's HE. It's going to full pen uh, a destroyer like that. But we just need to get that, get him off the board, not let him escape. That's why we're going to pop that last reload. Good thing we did because we uh, missed that last shot. One, one downside to this build, of course, is the fact that we don't have, we're not running any accuracy uh, perks. So this is kind of the base accuracy of what a Vanguard. I think it's still respectable, but it could use some work. Now we have to also, now we're in this section, we have to start considering our options uh because we don't have a lot of health to really give away. We may start using our stealth build just a little bit more, but I wanted to knock that Monarch off the map. If we could knock him off the map, then we would be able to begin engaging uh, Kansas uh, and the rest of them. He's just, that Monarch holding on by a thread. We're going to kind of angle out here. You can see we recovered a good chunk of health with that last heal, and we're going to have a potential to heal back another good chunk. Uh, Destroyer setting a smoke screen for us. Uh, many thanks. Uh, but we're we're going to continue kind of on just so we can get a little bit more distance uh, away. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to engage the Monarch, uh, but we can now engage this Vlad and this Kansas. And now we're just going to go ahead and cycle through the rounds, kind of try to choose the best one. These two guys are starting to become the last ones of their team. Um, Kansas looking like he's going to kind of sail broadside to us. Um, he's not going to acknowledge us, so we're going to kind of check the barrels here. Once we kind of confirm that, that they're not looking towards us, we'll go ahead and make the turn. Um, you know, obviously, Kansas probably more concentrated on, like, the cruisers that are down near him. We go ahead and start making the turn, and uh, I think he sees us at this point. Let's, let's go some shells because we're broadside to him, but we're going to go ahead and smack him for a good chunk of change right there and continue this turn right on through. Pop our next heal. Uh, you can see just how how much health we've been able to to recover because we've been taking the hits. I would say in a smart way. We haven't been taking them to the citadel, so that's allowed us uh, to kind of use the base trait to uh, to get a little bit more health back than we normally would. We go ahead and flip over to AP for this Vlad right here. At this point, match is pretty much all wrapped up, right? Uh, it is a bit of a landslide, but I feel like, at least on our side, it didn't feel like it. Over on our side, it was us and this destroyer really up against uh, that cruiser and the other destroyer. So it felt like a good a good battle, and then we got off some pretty good flanks. That's that's why I enjoyed get, get a nice salvo out on Vlad. Unfortunately, we're going to start seeing that uh, lack of accuracy kind of pop up right here, that RNG where we really didn't get much out of that salvo. We did pick up the high cow, which is nice. I um, mean, he's going to start to go behind that island. But guys, that's Vanguard. Like I said, I think it was already in a pretty good place. It's nice they're bringing up the HE to kind of match the rest of the Royal Navy battleship line as far as penetration goes. That way it's a little bit more consistent. But overall, um, you know, good time all around. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.